Good morning students. We are discussing on railway and airport engineering. Well, we are learning about railway engineering and in the previous lecture we have discussed uh, one of the important component that is rails. Well, in today's lecture also we will discuss one of the another important component of the railway system and that is sleepers. Well, well sleepers are the components on which the rails are arranged with the proper gauge distance well this sleeper is uh, generally raised on the ballast and it tie uh, the rails with itself and that's why sometimes uh, sleepers are called as a tie uh, in some of the regions well when the train passes the load those are coming from the trains or the rails uh, those are uh, taken by the sleepers and then safely distributed to the ballast uh, so this is the major function of sleepers well talking about the another functions of the sleepers is uh, to hold rails to correct watch and uh, alignment Okay. Also to give a firm and even support to the rail system. Well, also transfer and distribute the excel load to rails over a sufficiently large area of the ballast. Also to act as an elastic medium between the rails and ballast so that it can absorb the vibrations and blows uh, which occur or which produce from the moving wheels the another function of the sleepers is to maintain the alignment of the track and to provide the insulation for the electrified track also provide a proper grade that is gradient uh, longitudinal and lateral stability uh, to the track the another function is to provide means for easy replacement of the rail fastenings without disturbing the traffic during the service life so these are some of the another functions of the sleepers okay now let's see uh, classification or we can say the types of sleepers uh, is been used in the railways well this is the classification majorly sleepers are being classified into three category that is the timber or wooden sleepers the another that is the iron sleeper and the concrete sleeper so based on the material these three types of sleepers probably used in the railways well iron sleepers are being uh, classified into two another category that is the cast iron sleeper and steel sleepers well the concrete sleepers are being classified as a pre-stressed uh, concrete sleeper and the rcc sleepers well sometimes this uh, uh, pre-stressed sleeper is being also known as the monoblock pre-stressed concrete sleepers so let's discuss something uh, detail about these sleepers okay well the first that was the timber or the wooden sleeper well this wooden sleeper is the most uh, ideal sleeper uh, as it fulfills almost all the requirement for an ideal sleepers the life of timber sleepers depends upon their ability to resist wear decay or the attack of vermin you know that is a kind of you know white ants and the quality of the timber used okay but all in all this is a kind of ideal sleeper we can say because it fulfill almost all the requirements expecting some of the disadvantages okay while well, talking about some of the types of sleepers that we used that is the you know teak wood sal wood then uh, you know deodor feed or cheer wood okay so these are some of the uh, material of wood or we can say the type of woods or the timber that we probably used for constructing this wooden sleepers while well, the size of the wooden sleeper should be economical and it should provide desired strength to the sleeper as a you know uh, working as a beam as well as as a adequate bearing area and for that 
some of the crucial location or for the crucial places you know uh, the size of the sleeper is been kept uh, about 25 centimeter by 20, 15 centimeter uh, or 25 centimeter by 18 centimeter exactly talking about the bridge and the points or the crossings okay so such type of uh, sleeper or such size of the sleeper is being placed well uh, as per the uh, cross sections of the sleepers okay probably there are total three different types of cross sectional of the wooden sleeper is been observed the first that is the pole sleeper or it is known as the Ika uh, sleeper also well as uh, shown in the figure this Ika sleeper or the box hearted sleepers this has been observed when uh, you know pit is found at the center of the cross section well the second that is the slab sleeper uh, this has been observed when the it uh, is at uh, one edge of a sleeper and this is obtained when two sleepers are got from a single girth and the quarter sleeper is being observed and the pit is at uh, the corner of a uh, cross section this is obtained when four sleepers are got from a single girth so this is some of the uh, classification uh, based on its cross section and if we say the material that we use that is the teak wood, sal wood, deodor, feed and the cheer woods okay uh, and as per the you know dimensions we can say at the bridge side or at the points and crossings we probably use 25 by 15 or 25 by 18 centimeter of sleepers well then uh, if we discuss about uh, iron sleepers well, uh, iron sleeper was classified into two categories, the steel sleepers and the cast iron sleepers. Okay, first let's discuss about the steel sleepers. Uh, so this is a, how it simply looks. Well, about 27% of the track of Indian Railway is laid on the steel sleepers. Okay, uh, the increasing in shortage of the timber in India and other economical factors are responsible for the use of such steel sleepers in the India. Well, the steel drop sleepers essentially consist of a rolled steel plate of about 2 mm thickness pressed into a suitable uh, trough shape and uh, the rail that is uh, being canted or elevated uh, at a warning 20 gradient. The ends of the rolled section are flattened. Uh, in a shape of uh, you know spade to retain the ballast well talking about some of the types of uh, steel sleepers okay that is the first one that is the key type of sleeper well uh, talking about this key type of sleeper uh, you know uh, it has two subtype that is lungs or the jaw pressed out of metal and loose jaw type sleepers both are uh, shown in the figure while well, the ski type of sleeper uh, keys or the wedges are used for holding the rails in pressed up lungs uh, or in the loose jaw these are you know tighted in a holes of the sleepers well these lugs are cut and pressed to correct shape at the rail sheet the rails are fixed in these lugs either with a wedge or the key one on either side of the foot rails the second type that is the clip bolt type well in this type bolts and clips are used for holding the rail as the holes for the bolts uh, are small and circular there is a little possibility of crack developing through them while the four clips and four bolts are used for each rail by using different sizes of the clips the sleepers may be used for any section of the rails and by altering the position of the bolt features in these holes uh, the gauge adjustment can be carried out okay and then the rails is being fixed okay so this is a clip bolt type uh, sleepers then the saddle type sleepers well in this type of sleeper the rail seat is strengthened by a saddle plate which has two holes in the sleepers and on either side of the rail 
okay the object is then to strengthen the rail seat while nowadays in india loose jaw type sleepers are most commonly used and some of the clip bolt while the next that is the cast iron sleepers while the cast iron sleepers are being extensively used on the indian railway and at present about 45% of the tracks are made up of cast iron while talking about some of the classification of the cast iron sleepers the pot or bowl sleeper is being used uh, when the second that is the plate sleepers are also used then csc9 sleepers and duplex sleepers are used while talking about this pot and bowl type of sleepers which is being uh, which is a kind of uh, cast iron sleeper well uh, this pot sleepers consist of two balls placed under each rail and connected with a tie bar on the top of the each pot keys on top of the each pot keys are provided to hold the rails in a proper position and also the inward slope of the rail seat is provided at the grade or the kind that is provided to the sleepers that is 1 in 20 okay uh, a plate sleepers consist of two rectangular plates these plates are held in the position and direction for using the tie bars while talking about the most important and that is the csc9 sleepers it is a combination of a plat and a box and the plot sleepers csc9 sleepers are most satisfactory in uh, other cast iron sleepers uh, and uh, have been you know extensively used in indian railways while duplex sleepers are used in uh, conjunctions with uh, csc9 sleepers these sleepers are used at the rail joints to prevent the cantilever action between two supports of the csc9 sleeper now the third type of sleeper is the concrete sleepers well, in the concrete sleeper we have two different type of sleepers reinforced concrete sleepers and monoblock pre-stressed concrete sleepers talking about the rcc sleeper well uh, concrete sleeper or the rcc sleepers have been designed by the research design and standard organization wing of railways there are some of the advantage and disadvantage of these uh, sleepers while the concrete sleepers have a long service life that generally uh, of 40 to 60 years they are also free from the attack of insects decay and they require less fittings and fastenings well track circuiting can be executed by rcc sleepers okay now with that also they they have some of the disadvantage that the scrap value of this type of sleeper are nil the renewal of the track laid with this sleeper is difficult they are very liable to crack due to the creep and the swing cage so these are uh, some of the advantage and disadvantage of rcc sleepers while well, then talking about the monoblock stressed concrete sleepers well monoblock stressed concrete sleeper has an overall length of 1750 millimeter and a weight of 270 kg while well, the sleeper has a uh, trapezoidal cross section with a width of uh, 150 millimeter at the top and 250 millimeter at the bottom while the height of this sleepers is being kept 280 mil, uh, 280 millimeter at the rail seat talking about the super elevation or a count of 1 in 20 is provided on the top of the surface that is for a distance of 170 millimeter on either side of the center line of the rail to cover the area of rail fittings while the sleeper is pre-stressed with 80 height and style steel that stands of three numbers of three millimeter dia wires and 12 numbers of six millimeter dia wires of mild steel links okay initial pre-stress in the steel is 100 kilogram per centimeter and the 28 day crushing strength of such concrete is normally uh, observed not less than 515 kilogram per centimeter so this was about the concrete sleeper that is uh, rcc sleeper and monoblock pre-stressed concrete sleeper okay. thank you so much students for your kind attention 
i hope uh, you understand uh, this topic that is the sleeper uh, properly i will see you in the next lecture